Hello, hello, everybody. Hi, Facebook, friends and family. How are you guys doing today? I'm just gonna wait for a little bit to see if anyone's joining. Um, hi, I'm Dr. Janine, um, coming to you live with um, Thursday Tips. Okay, so I'm just waiting to see if anyone else is gonna join and then I'll start um, the discussion. Thank you, Shad, for joining. I'm waiting to see if anyone else is uh, gonna join today. <clears throat> All right, how's uh, the kids and back to school and everything and waiting this fall weather, but I'm not waiting for it. Um, I'm enjoying the hot weather for now. Um, there's someone else on, can you just say hi so I can um, acknowledge you and um, and then I'll start. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you for joining today. All right. So um, this is Thursday Tips with Dr. Janine. I am Dr. Janine Darby, um, board certified family physician and weight loss specialist, and also the owner of Lifestyle Changes LLC in um, Pennsylvania. I help women um, feel better about themselves and get their sexy back by providing a comprehensive weight loss program. So today I'm just gonna um, talk about um, tips on how to maintain your weight um, in a new country, overseas travel, how to maintain your weight um, while traveling overseas. And I came up with this topic because I'm about to leave for overseas travel um, in a few days. And I just wanna kinda of share um, a few tips of what I do um, when I am traveling and also um, to help you, um, you know, stay on the weight loss journey and maintain that weight. Hello, Daddy, thank you for joining today. Um, we're gonna talk about weight loss and overseas travel, how to maintain your weight while traveling overseas. Um, okay, so I'm gonna seem like a broken record, but these tips are very important, whether you're here in the US or if you're traveling overseas. Um, the first thing, of course, is always stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water, um, drink alcohol in moderation, um, don't fill up on those empty calories. Um, I did talk about this in one of my Facebook Lives about alcohol and everything. Um, so. Um, alcohol is is um, wasted calories, so don't spend um, your calories on that. Um, also, if you want to indulge um, with alcohol, just make sure you um, drink low cal drinks like um, light beer, um, light beer, red or white wine, vodka with um, sparkling water. So those are some examples of low cal drinks. Um, the other thing, um, number two tip, is um, plan your meals wisely. Eat healthy. If that's what you do here um, in the U.S., when you go overseas, do the same. Eat healthy. Don't eat junk <laughs> because that will definitely um, um, take you back. Um, hi, Ty. How are you? Thank you for joining. Um, you should be in class right now. Are you listening to your teacher? <laughs> But thank you for joining. We're talking about weight loss and overseas travel. Um, so anyways, um, so plan your meals wisely. Eat healthy. Um, if, that, if that's what you do in the U.S., do that in the other country as well. Okay? So the other thing that I tend to do before traveling overseas um, and also may be helpful to you is researching ahead about the types of food that's native to the country. See what type of foods that they, um, they will have in certain restaurants, maybe even researching the hotel menu, um, seeing what's on the menu, um, you know, and making sure that they have low um, calorie meals, um, you know, protein um, and such that will um, help you stay on the weight loss journey. All right. Also, if you go out to restaurants, just make sure, you know, certain things that I stick to because um, I, I, I don't take my um, meal replacements because um, it's just a lot. 
um, with traveling and everything, but I do take some protein bars and stuff like that. So anyways, um, when you're out in a restaurant, things to just think about, like, you know, um, for a quick meal, simple, low carb, um, look for lean protein. Look for like vegetables, like, you know, green vegetables mostly. Um, and then also your beverages, um, just make sure they're low calorie as well. All right. The other thing is to make sure you're active. You know, if you're exercising here in the U.S., go to the other country and do the same. Um, so stay active, plan active um, outings, um, plan active tours, um, walk everywhere if possible. If you need to go to the grocery store, to a restaurant, um, you know, walk there if you can. Um, and the other thing is um, if you um, are a gym rat and you need to get your workout in on a treadmill, elliptical, whatever, um, get to the gym. Make sure that hotel has a gym that has um, equipment that you're used to. Um, also, you can um, travel with your gym, such as res resistant bands. Those are easy to fold up in your um, suitcase um, and you can get a quick workout in as well. Okay, so be active. Don't gain that weight while you're over overseas. Burn the fat. Burn, 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 burn. Okay, all right. So the other thing is get plenty of rest and sleep. I know it's exciting going overseas, um, experiencing the culture, um, you know, making sure you're taking all the sights um, and everything, but make sure you rest, make sure you sleep. Um, because that's important to maintaining your weight and making sure you're not gaining any weight as well. Um, and also, when you um, when you're you're traveling, um, you have to make sure you rest because you 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 will be jet lagged. So um, that's important as well. Okay. Um, so the reason why I shared this um, these few tips. Um, it's because I'm traveling overseas. Hi, I'm Dr. Carla. Thank you for joining. We're talking about weight loss and overseas travel, how to maintain that weight and not gaining weight while traveling overseas. Um, so like I came up with these tips and also wanted to share because I'll be leaving a few days for um, South Korea. I'll be in Seoul, South Korea. And um, I was getting a little nervous about um, what what will I be eating while I'm over there because um, I know there's a lot of noodles and things like that and th those things I don't eat um, and rice and things like that. So I did a little homework <laughs> myself. Um, I don't know if any of you have um, eaten at a Korean restaurant while here in the U.S. I've tasted a few things. Um, and um, also just doing research, they, um, the Korean food um, has a lot of health benefits. So I'm just going to go over a few um, uh, meals that um, hopefully I will try while I'm there. Um, and um, hopefully, and then um, <clears throat> also, um, sorry, I'm a little under the weather, so <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so the other thing, um, you know, Korean food is known for is um, um, they use food as their medicine. So a lot of their food um, are low calorie. Um, and so therefore, they're, um, the folks over there maintain their weight very well and they have low obesity rates. Um, <clears throat> the other thing, Korean um, folks, they don't eat to become full. So that's also a helpful thing as well. All right. So, um, you know, Korean food has become very popular recently in the U.S. Um, like there's a lot of restaurants popping up in New York, California. Hi, Duke. Thanks for joining. Um, and all over because of their healthy and delicious food and low calorie foods. Um, so a few um, foods that I'm going to experiment with and try. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of kimchi. Kimchi is like a side dish that goes on everything. Um, so it's a fermented spicy cabbage. They also have um, spices in there as well. Um, kimchi is supposed to be beneficial for your gallbladder and liver. Um, it has plenty of vitamins and minerals, vitamins such as A, B, and C. Um, it also contains a probiotic, um, lactobacilli, which helps in aiding in um, 
your digestion of the food and everything. Um, also boosts your immune system. So hopefully I will not get sick and or I'll cure whatever I have now by eating some kimchi when I get there. Um, and um, it also helps in reducing the chole your cholesterol and improves your blood sugar and your blood pressure. So kimchi. So um, try that out um, if you are if you you are <laughs> if you want to experiment a Korean dish. So kimchi is um, a side dish where they put on several um, dishes. Um, the other um, uh, thing that I am going to try um, is called bibimbap. Bibimbap. <laughs> Um, which is a dish that has either white or brown rice with um, vegetables and you can also put kimchi on top. Um, you can also add um, lean protein like beef and also egg, um, whether um, I think they do like raw or fried egg um, if um, you want that added. Um, so this dish is supposed to be heart healthy, um, rich in protein, vitamins, calcium and, and magnesium. It also helps in combating illness and um, especially like geriatric diseases, so whether it's heart disease or something like that. Um, so I will be trying that as well. Um, and then another dish, um, not a dish, but um, I guess like a, um, a accessory or whatever, um, is um, gochujang. Gochujang. Gochujang is a hot, spicy paste. It's almost like sriracha sauce or your hot sauce. <laughs> yes. So this, um, they put on um, a lot of the meals as well. And what this does, it helps in increasing your metabolism um, and burns fat. So um, I will be putting this on all my meals because I am not gaining one pound. <laughs> so um, go to Jang. Um, it also helps in suppressing your appetite and also lowers your body weight. So um, this will be sprinkled on all my meals. <laughs> all right, so guess what I will be eating and doing while I'm in um, South Korea. So I'll be, make sure that I'm um, smart with my diet I'm gonna stay hydrated. I'm gonna get some um, exercise in. Um, and, you know, of course, I'm gonna do some tours, so that's gonna require a lot of walking. So I will be burning. <laughs> flagel, why, Duke? Why flagel? Um, I'm not gonna eat any raw food, so hopefully I'll be okay. My stomach will, I'm gonna eat that kimchi. <laughs> That'll help with my digestion, probiotic. Um, <laughs> so, um, the other thing that's um, important with um, Korean meals is soup. So that also um, helps in um, filling you up and um, also um, not overindulging with food. So um, definitely have some soup prior to eating um, and everything. And then I'm also gonna stick to um, lean protein um, and also vegetables. Um, and getting a lot of rest as well. So um, there's a 13 hour difference from my home. So I will be getting a lot of rest and um, to make sure that I'm maintaining my weight and everything. Um, does anybody have any questions um, about this topic today? I'm glad you guys are joining me today. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, okay. So, um, if <clears throat> next, sorry, excuse me again. Um, next week I'll be away. Like I said, I'll be in um, South Korea. Um, I hope to um, come live um, periodically to show you what I'm doing and what I'm eating and how I'm staying active. Um, and um, hopefully you'll keep me accountable and I'll come back and I'll be the same weight. <laughs> okay, so um, thank you all for joining. Um, if you want any further um, um, information, um, please follow me um, if, you, if this has been helpful. For anyone that will be traveling overseas, share with others. Um, follow, like, share um, on Facebook. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, at um, Dr. Janine Darby. Um, in, um, and thank you again. Oh, hi, Dr. Celeste. Thank you for joining. I just um, finished up and talking about weight loss and traveling overseas. Um, if you're going to see this again, um, make sure you put in the comment hashtag replay so I know that you watched and, I, and thank you for that. 
Um, again, I'm Dr. Janine Darby. I'm a board certified family medicine doctor and weight loss specialist. Um, and owner of Lifestyle Changes LLC here in Pennsylvania, where I help women um, feel better about themselves, get their sexy back and, by providing a comprehensive weight loss program here. Thank you again um, for watching and I hope to see you guys live next week while I'm in Korea. Um, and um, hopefully you'll keep me accountable and I'll uh, keep my um, weight. Um, the same okay thank you everybody have a wonderful day enjoy the weather and i'll talk to you soon bye bye